uh, rehabilitation project force. Yeah. I know a lot about Scientology. I've actually probably read more texts than you about Scientology, including OT3. And the whole you, stuff... You actually read that, but... Yeah, I've actually read it. It's, if you look hard enough on the net, you'll find it in Hubbard's original handwriting. I don't want to read it, to be honest. And Hubbard's... It's actually in Hubbard's original handwriting, the one that I read, and his handwriting's really distinctive. You know, it's not something that can be faked. And the whole Zenu thing is true. You know, flying in in DC-8s, but... <laughs> um, I mean, that's why a lot of people jump ship at around the, the OT3 level, because they've spent all this money. And they get um, taken into that locked room on the free winds, um, get shown the text, and think, have I paid all this money for this? You also know about the free winds as well, being asbestos uh, ridden. You know, you know what the, one of the reasons why the free winds can't dock in the US and never docks in the US? Um, it is absolutely full of blue asbestos, chunks of it, uh, the insulation. So anyone going there studying for um, their... So you've got to go there for all your OTs, haven't you, I think? No, you haven't, no. Oh, no, they've just changed it, haven't they, to flag and St. Hill. But um, cer certainly the higher... Yeah, yeah, I think the higher OTs, though, were very much the free wins only, because they wanted to keep... Uh, they didn't want the documents to be leaked. But, I mean, if you seriously, just open your eyes. You sound like an intelligent... Um, open your eyes, see what's out there, listen to the ex-Scientologists, you know, the ones that actually know, that have experienced it all. Um, the disconnection... I know Scientologists have been around for, like, years. Sure, sure, but um, I'm also in contact with people like... Uh, do you, were you the, were you in the org when they were? Yeah, it's a bit of a sad tale, really. They 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 had to leave the country. You know. Apparently, she had to eat scraps of Saint Hill. Now, my personal opinion of Saint Hill is I've never been treated so good in my whole life. And right. Like I did when I went to Saint Hill. Well, when when um sorry, well, sorry when. Apparently, she was fed scraps and all that kind of crap. Now. Well, no, the, 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 wasn't fed scraps. No, people in the RPF. Um, the RPF are fed scraps. That is basically, there's so many reports about that. It's, <laughs> um, but uh, when she went up to do her week's training up at St. Hill, um, she was given vouchers by the Plymouth Org, and they weren't honoured in St. Hill. Well, that's really funny because we don't, we've never had vouchers or anything. Or a note or something. Yeah, um, I know the money has to be accounted for and money has to be transferred. Basically, the, the Plymouth Org debt was too big and St. Hill refused to cover it. So a poor 18-year-old girl was stuck up there doing the courses and then um, not being given a lift in the minibus because it was for Sea Org members only. And so having to walk back in pitch darkness. You know, th these things happen, you know, she's, she's writing about them and she's going to make a big noise about them. And that's just the tip of the iceberg. What happened to poor mum had to leave the country because they were just getting hassled all the time. Um, and I know you probably have nothing to do with this, and it's certainly yeah, higher up. It's because, like, Scientology does nothing but good for me. And Scientology and does good, good for people. Good. Yeah, it's nothing but good for the people that I've seen in it and actually experienced myself. Right, have you seen it? Have you seen something that was really bad and make something good of themselves? Sure, um, Scientology people does do good for some people. For all the organisations that I've visited around the world, and that's, you know, yeah, but so, so, Right. You know, I've been to many of the big organisations and they're right. all the same, not the same exactly. But, but you, you don't see behind the scenes. Um, do you know about the... Yeah, the do, 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 you know about the children's, do you know about the children's workforce at FLAG? Well, that's at the cadet org. Um, what, what they're doing is Scientologists now branching into third world countries. They get families over um, to the United States on tourist visas take their passports, the parents are then sent to another part of the country, maybe even another part of the world, and the kids, uh, they're chaperoned everywhere. Um, they're not schooled in anything other than a tiny bit of Hubbard tech here and there. A lot of them don't speak English, and those are the manual labourers at FLAG. I mean, you, you go onto YouTube, uh, you, you'll see videos of these poor kids. Uh, you know, uh... Scientology does help some people, but unfortunately, we're not demonstrating against the beliefs of Scientology. 
we're demonstrating against the, um, the, the corrupt management, the corrupt structure of it all. Sure, Scientology helps, which is, I mean, have you ever heard of Free Zone? Well, to, to be quite honest, it's exactly the same, um, going up to, I think, OT3 level. Um, Scientologists are told that it's squirrel tech, when in fact it's not. It's just um, ex-Scientologists um, who are pissed off with the way that um, Scientologist church members are fleeced. And so they offer a different route, without the control, without, the, without having to get credit cards to, to, to go up the bridge. Right. I mean... Okay. No problem. Oh, well, it's nice speaking to you. All right, uh, which one are you? No problem. If you ever fancy a coffee, I'm well up for a chat. I've, I'm not at war with you. I've got nothing against you. I've only got some. Uh, what we're demonstrating against is just the corrupt organisation of the church that has many levels above you. Well, no, because if, if, if Scientology inherently if changes overnight, um, what we're looking for is basically people like David Miscavige, the whole organisation, um, the Fair Gaming to stop, the RPF to stop, um, the intimidation, the blackmail. Because, I mean, it's, 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 search on YouTube and you'll see evidence of what your church is like, especially sort of around the Clearwater area, you know, around Flag. Right. Um, and they're actually, you know, genuine people. Sure, 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 they're genuine people. Yes, they're genuine, they're genuine people. But you know yourself that Scientologists must never talk about Scientology to other Scientologists, like uh, the courses, or there's a lot of secrecy involved. Do you, 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 you only have to... Well, you do, but I mean, officially, you're only really meant to discuss things uh, during auditing with your ethics officer, etc. That's correct, yeah? Well, I think you need to get your information right. Right. Well, I mean, if you fancy, I'm in town a hell of a lot of times. So if um, if I see you at the car, if you fancy a coffee, sit down and inform me. Yeah. Well, I mean, I mean, you should clarify to me you've read a lot of other people's opinions. Well, I have, and no scientist, no Scientologist will really talk to me over. Well, I have. I read Dianetics. I almost joined staff in '93. Right. Um, I mean, I, there's a whole load of books like, that you can get from the library that go right into what Sure. I mean, the, the PDFs are available online for free. So, right. yeah. The what, sir? Uh, the, the PDF. Um, there's PDF documents for all his books. I mean, they're available for free. Well, they are the real thing, because uh, if you think of how many millions of books have been published and sold to Scientologists, there's a lot of text out there. Yeah. And all it takes is a scanner and five minutes of someone's time, or yeah. half an hour, and that's, that's another book online. Yeah. So, it's the internet, unfortunately. <laughs> nothing is private, nothing is secret anymore. Yeah. Anyway, I'll let you get off, because it's, um, it's nearly midnight. Right. So, um... Sure, I'll see you again. Yeah, no worries. Take care, yeah? Bye. Best of luck. Bye.